dead or sleeping john chapter 11 verse 4 says when jesus heard that he said this sickness is not unto death but for the glory of god that the son of god might be glorified thereby lord jesus made a stunning statement before his disciples that he would go to bethany and wake up lazarus out of sleep mary martha and lazarus were friends of jesus at the first report he received from mary and martha that their brother lazarus was sick jesus said that this sickness in lazarus was not unto his death but for the glory of god he tarried for two more days at the place where he was and then said to his disciples that he would go to judea it is indeed so refreshing to meditate on the death of lazarus and jesus raising him from the dead a very notable point is that lazarus was not raised by jesus immediately after his death but after four days of his death jesus knew that lazarus was sick and yet he did not immediately go to bethany where his friend lazarus and his two sisters lived although mary and martha sent a request to jesus with information about the sickness of lazarus to him yet he tarried where he was for two days and went to judea and reached bethany not before the fourth day after the death of lazarus he was outside bethany even though he was informed about the sickness of lazarus his friend when jesus heard that lazarus was sick he said that the sickness in lazarus was not unto death but the later suffered it in order that the glory of the son of god may be manifest to all jesus loved lazarus and his sisters mary and martha jesus was sure of his work on the earth and that he had to fulfill the will of the father he refused to answer quickly on three occasions once when mary the earthly mother of jesus requested him to help the host of the marriage at cana second time when the mother of zebedee's children came to him with her sons and prayed that her two sons may be granted the privilege to sit one on his right hand and the other on the left in his kingdom third time it was when mary and martha sisters of lazarus requested help from jesus when their brother was sick however he answered the first request and the third request according to the time or uh, timing of the father and his time the second request was in the power of the father to grant and not in his power and therefore he said to sit on my right hand on and on my left is not mine to give but it shall be given and given to them for whom it is prepared of my father reference matthew chapter 20 was 23b in spite of the disciples of jesus pointing to him about the impending danger he chose to go to judea where jews waited to kill him jesus questioned them if there were no 12 hours in a day jesus was obviously pointing to them about the availability of limited time at his disposal to fulfill the will of the father even if it involved danger to his life he also knew that no one can do any harm to him before his hour came jesus explained to them that a man who walks in the day does not stumble because he sees the light of the world on the contrary he who walks in the night stumbles because of absence of light in him jesus having replied his disciples their question in a way perhaps not clearly understood by them surprised them with another statement that lazarus their friend was sleeping and he would go and awake him out of sleep the disciples of jesus who were surprised to hear from him that lazarus was sleeping thought indeed the later was sleeping and was in good health but jesus spoke of the death of lazarus john chapter 11 verse 11 says these things said he and after that he saith unto them our friend lazarus sleepeth but i go that i may awake him out of sleep 
the truth was that in the sight of the lord jesus christ the son of god lazarus was sleeping but in the sight of men he was dead john chapter 11 verse 14 says then said jesus unto them plainly lazarus is dead god knows all things and he does everything according to his will and his purpose lazarus was raised and the father's name was glorified through jesus the son of god Romans 8:28 says and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are called according to his purpose this message is written and brought to you by Leslie John